Welcome friends, in this video we'll be running through a quick overview of setting up Dastardly with Jenkins. Dastardly is a free, lightweight web application security scanner for your CI-CD pipelines. It is designed specifically for web developers and checks your application for seven security issues that are likely to interest you during software development. Dastardly is based on the same scanner as Burp Suite. You can integrate Dastardly with any CI-CD platform but in this video, we'll be configuring Dastardly to run in Jenkins. For Dastardly system requirements, we recommend a minimum of four CPU cores and four gigabytes of RAM. In this video, we are testing Dastardly with Jenkins build 2.375. Additionally, your Jenkins server or build node must have Docker installed, but no plugins beyond the Jenkins defaults are required to run Dastardly in a Jenkins CI CD pipeline. So let us begin. First, within Jenkins, we'll select a new item. We'll give this a name, Dastardly Test. We'll select Pipeline and click OK. Further, we can give it a description here. We'll jump right in and configure our pipeline. You can see we have two options. We can cut and paste the script directly into Jenkins, or we can pull that from an SCM, which is what we're going to do. Just a quick note on the script itself. This is available on our website documentation for Dastardly and it's going to pull the latest image of Dastardly for you and the output for the Dastardly report will be in XML format and here is where we can also specify the Dastardly target URL this is the URL of the application that we want to scan for the purpose of this video we're going to be scanning Gin and Juice which is our deliberately vulnerable web application so now I can continue configuring my pipeline I'm going to select git add my credentials and the repository URL. Next I need to specify the branch and for me that's going to be main and then my script path which is Jenkins file. Now I can save and build my pipeline. If I select the pipeline I can monitor the progress of the scan in the console output we can see Dastardly has started and has begun its scan of our target application. Scans will run for no more than 10 minutes. We'll fast forward here and we can check out the results. Okay, our scan is complete. We can see that the build has failed because we have located vulnerabilities within our application. If we scroll back up to the top and select our build, we can then view our test results. This will detail all failed tests for our particular build and we can select one to view the stack trace and this will give us detail on our particular vulnerability. So we can see here we have a cross-site scripting found at this location. If we scroll into the stack trace this is going to give us issue background information on that particular vulnerability, some remediation advice. We'll be able to view our evidence which includes the request and the response. There will also be a reference to our Web Security Academy. This will include additional detail on the particular vulnerability as well as a sandbox environment to carry out the same kind of attack. And finally, our vulnerability classifications. And that's it folks, as simple as that. You can check out our other Dastardly docs to view configuration steps for running Dastardly in TeamCity, GitHub Actions and our platform independent instructions. Thank you and take care.